again. Guess. I'll just tell you because I am just over the top excited. I went on my first camping trip. So, I can hear you asking me, Callie, what is camping? Camping is not like a road trip. Remember, we went on a road trip. That was fun. This time, my family and I went into the forest and actually slept there. Ah! Can you imagine all the things we found in the forest at nighttime? Let me call my friend and tell her where I went. Hey, hey, what's up, Allie? Hi, Callie. Oh, no. What's wrong? I just got some bad news. Oh, no. Our dog, Jeffy, is missing, and we are so worried about him. We were hiking together as a family, and during one of our stops to rest, he wandered off. I am so sad. Oh no! I am so sorry to hear that! Me too. I love my Jeffy. I can't imagine not being able to see him again. I know you do. You talk about Jeffy all the time. Would it help you feel better if we prayed? Please, Callie. I would like that. Hey, Jesus. Allie is pretty sad after their hike this weekend. Will you help her feel calm while she's looking for her dog, Jeffy? We pray Jeffy is safe somewhere and that someone kind will bring Jeffy back to us if they find him. Thank you for always listening to our prayers. Thank you for being my friend, Callie. You bet. I really hope we get to see Jeffy again. Hey, you know what? Our family has been talking together about today's Bible story, and I'm wondering if maybe it might help give you a little bit of hope. Want to hear it? Yeah, you know I love a good story. It's time for our Bible story. Today we have a special story filled with sad things and happy things. But we can learn about it together and ask as many questions as we want to. Let's start from the beginning. Jesus grew up learning about God, just like you. And Jesus started teaching others about God when he was older. He was around 30 years old when he started sharing the good news that the Savior had come, and it was him. He spent his days teaching others and telling them about God's love and how they could spend forever with God one day. But a lot of people did not like the things he said. So then he was put on trial. People didn't believe him. They made fun of him, and they called him a liar. Sadly, that trial led to him being punished and dying. It was very sad for Jesus and for everyone who loved and followed Jesus too. It was a very confusing time for everyone because Jesus was the king everyone was waiting for. And now it seemed like he would not be that after all. But there was a promise, a promise that Jesus would come back to life. After being gone for just a few days, he would return. Jesus wasn't going to give up and would keep going to save us. Jesus is the Son of God, and God had the power to bring Jesus back. The journey wasn't over. His return showed the world to never give up hope and that God could rise up from anything. Nothing could stop Jesus from rising up back to life, and God never gave up looking for those who were lost or far from God. And Jesus was proof that this is true. Dying didn't stop Jesus from saving everyone. You know, I think our friends at home have not heard this story before. Let's help them out. Do you know where Jesus went after he was alive again? I think he went back to his family and friends to tell them he was always going to be with them, right? Mm-hmm. Callie, I love this story. And the best part is, it's not just a story, it's true. Jesus did die and rise up again so everyone who believes in Jesus can one day go to heaven to be with him. I feel better knowing Jesus is so powerful. I know Jesus can't do anything because Jesus overcame death. I believe that. And you know how we prayed together earlier? Maybe God will help us find Jeffy too. I would really love that. Thank you for being my friend, Callie. I feel better learning about Jesus and just spending time with you. Me too. Friends, I've got to go look for Jeffy with Allie. But thanks for spending time with us today. Next time, I will tell you all about the hiking trail. I have a really good feeling that everything will be fine. Catch you next time, friends. 
Peace.